I decided to do this on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. It's been really last minute packing. So I thought I'll just try setting it up once. Don't want to be setting it up for the first time during the trek. Looks good, looks good. I have to be on my way in less than 12 hours. See you in the morning. start of the hike. It's supposed to be just a couple minutes away from the train station. This is it, the start of the West Highland Way. As much as I'm excited for the whole hike, I'm also a little nervous because I have only done day hikes in the past and this I have never done something like this. It's going to be strenuous. I plan to do it in six days. If possible, one less, otherwise one more. It depends on how well I keep up with the whole thing. My bag is really, really heavy. I'm done with a couple of kilometers. And it's pretty much just been like this. We're just a little more than four miles into the whole thing now. Another eight miles up to the village of Drymen. As expected, it started raining now. I'm done with 10 miles. That is Conic Hill, the one you can see there. I've crossed Dryman now, so that's 12 miles done. That's basically one eighth of the total hike. So I have another 84 to go. The range has got a little worse now. I mean, for Scotland standards. I'm the only one here. You can't see anything around. And that is Loch Lomond. We are in Balmaha. 20 miles done. Well deserved beer at the end. Cheers to the 20 miles. Okay, it's almost 8 p.m. and it's still raining. So I just left the pub. What a view. Okay, day one is turning out to be too much of an adventure. It's already 9 p.m. I still don't have a spot to set up my tent. I've decided to set up my tent right here and that's that's the view in front of me. Okay, it's done. It's 10.15. It's starting to get dark. It's really windy right now. 
this is it's the first time in my life i'm going to be sleeping in a tent i'm kind of scared i'm just scared because there's nobody around me and if my tent just dismantles or breaks down i have no idea what to do so i'm just going to hope that this first night goes all right It's 5.30 in the morning and I made it through the night. My tent made it through the night. And that's the morning view. You can actually see the sky today. I'm hoping it's gonna be a really good day. The whole way is well marked with these kind of wood stumps with arrows on them. The one thing I've learned today, like from yesterday's experience is to find a camping spot early on in the evening. Yesterday I was setting my tent up at 10 p.m. I've reached Robert Ennin. That's 27 miles done. On my way to Inversnet. I've reached Inversnet, it's 1 p.m. It's time for some food. The plan is to camp by the lock shores tonight. Just done with lunch in Inversnet. So it's just about 5 p.m. now, all set for night two. And I have this amazing view from my tent. Check this out. Just go straight out and a few steps and you're at the lake. And I have decided to go in for a little quick dip in the lock. It's, it's freezing cold. One more attempt. I know, right? My mother duck is thinking about coming over here. Yeah. <laughs> This was my spot for the second night and it's time to go. The end of Loch Lomond right there, I'm going to be 
leaving Loch Lomond now. I've just been walking from that direction for almost a day and a half now. I've made it to the midpoint, like the half halfway mark of the West Highland Way and I'm just outside of Crane Larrick and it's 48 miles done. It's it's Saturday morning and it's just about to be 11 a.m. now and this feels exciting because I kind of doubted even being able to do the whole thing and now that I'm halfway there it feels like it's getting easier now. Four thirty PM headed to Bridge of Orkey, the sixty mile mark. Okay, so it's seven o'clock. I am crossing Bridge of Orkey, and as it turns out, so they are not serving any food right now for non residents. So, because they've, some people have tested positive for COVID. I've decided to walk for an hour and by 8 o'clock I should get to Inver Oran Hotel. Just look at this. I think this is, this location is insane. And you can even see the sun setting just beyond that point there. I think I'm gonna go walk up to that end and find a spot to set up my tent. 10 p.m. And that's where I've set my tent up for the night. Kind of feels unreal to be honest. It's just about 10.15 now. That's me there for the night. is just beautiful. It's day 4, around 10.30 a.m. I've left Inveroran Hotel some time back. I'm done with 62 miles out of 96. So we're just left with 34. And the goal for today is to get to uh, Kinloch Leven, which is about 19 miles from here, I think. That's pretty much all you can see in any direction it's 12 30 pm I've been walking for over two hours now the sun's out and i think it's going to be another 90 minutes or so to get to king's house and i can see king's house you see the those houses there that's king's house p.m. and I finally reached the King's House Hotel. Oof. Finally, that's the lunch. I've got my food refueled, got some water filled up and 
I'm just stepping out of King's house. Next stop in Lockleven. The little track that started right at that house there. This is called the Devil's Staircase because it's supposed to be, I don't know, a little tiring. I'm at the top of the Devil's Staircase. It wasn't as scary as the name suggests, but yeah, it was a good hike up. It felt like a little bit of a challenge. I can see my destination for tonight. That little town you can see there, that's Kinloch Leven. The one there. It's almost eight o'clock and I'm still about 25 minutes away from Kinloch Leven. It has been downhill for the past one hour and my knees start acting up if I go downhill for a long time. So I've been going really slow and I actually even did one patch where I was just walking backwards like that because it was so steep this is where i'm spending the night my tent is somewhere at the end the blue one at the end and i'm just gonna head down I'm just gonna head down to the supermarket get something to eat it feels so light to be walking around without a backpack It's day five, the last day, last leg of the journey, last 15 miles. I'm done with 81 miles, just leaving Kinloch Leven behind. So thrilled, so happy, and so proud. There we go. Thirty minutes out of the village of Kinloch Leven. There, this here is Loch Leven. I've just been walking endlessly for almost three hours now. Plus today it's proper sunny. It's it's kind of hot. It it's probably half of the temperature in Akola, but it's it's still too much for me right now. I just got the first sight of Ben Nevis, which is the tallest peak in UK. There it is. That one there, last six miles, five miles to go, four miles to go, mighty Ben Nevis, three miles to go. There's only two things I need, a hot shower and my bed. I haven't showered since Thursday, since the day I left. One last water stop, I just had a couple sips of water. I've picked up speed since the past two miles. I'm walking faster. I've stopped feeling all the pain in my uh, toe blisters and my heel and my ankle. And I'm just marching on now. So I just thought I'll take one last pit stop before I finish the whole thing. I'm just glad that my body has supported me through this whole thing. Shout out to you, Alex, for giving me that backpack and the sleeping bag because that bag has sustained a lot of weight throughout the journey. Two miles to go. That's Fort William. 
I have only one more mile to go. The last mile. We've made it. That's the end. This is the official end of the West Highland Way. Ninety-six miles, almost one hundred and fifty-five kilometers. Did it. One thing that I've I've not really learnt it along this hike, but that's something I've been thinking of, is that we need to complain less in life. We need to appreciate more, acknowledge more, be a little more grateful for everything we have, and not always think about what we don't have, because at the end of the day, it does not really matter. It's yeah. It's all great, yeah? That's the view for you. One last time. <laughs>